Hi guys, Carly from Mama Got Skills here, and I'm here with the Kids Art Bite. So basically, I'm going to show you a little bit how to make something like this. using oil pastels. I know it looks hard but trust me it's easy and you're going to learn a few really cool techniques that you can use in your own time for your own designs. So let's go ahead and get started. All right the materials that you're going to need oil pastels, coconut oil, cotton buds, paintbrush, pencil, paper and a ruler. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm using an A3 piece of paper so I'm just going to rule just a little bit of a border because um, pastels get a little messy. So this way we can cut it out later and have a beautiful picture. So once we've ruled up our line, I'm gonna start with some dark blue crayon, oil pastel I should say, cause that's what it is. Um, and I'm just gonna shade. Now I'm starting with the sky. It doesn't have to be super neat. I'm then going to get white and I'm going to paste that over the top because what I'm trying to get is a nice blend and this is a great way to teach children about shades and also about blending color. Oil pastels blend like paint blends which is really awesome. We're heading into some light blue now and we're just going to bring that down and make it as realistic as we can with the sky going from darker to lighter and the way that you just keep playing is adding layers of white. So just seeing how you blend the pastel in, they work very much like paint, like I said, and they're just going to keep blending the more that you layer on top. So layering is good. It's a great technique. Then what we're going to go do is get baby oil, coconut oil, just basically any kind of oil type substance that's clear. And we're just going to paint over the top. And what it does is it further blends it for us. Um, and it creates more of like an acrylic paint type effect, which is pretty interesting and it's fun for kids and adults alike. Uh, now we're going to put a line of white just so we can separate our sky from our land and just give our blend a little bit of depth. I'm now using a brown pastel and I'm going to take this all the way to the bottom of my image. And again, it's okay if there's bits of white because you're going to go over them. And we're back to our white and we are just making sure that we blend. Blend it all in and it'll start to look a bit muddy. What I'm trying to get here is a bit of an Australian Outback type dirt feel. So that's why I'm putting streaks of red. And now this is a bit of a stippling effect. Stipple is where you're literally dabbing dots of pastel all over. And you can do this effectively um, for all kinds of colors. Um, and what it does is it blends without making it too intense. As you can see, I'm adding more red, just trying to get that red soil sort of effect for my background and then layering again with orange. Like I said, don't be afraid of the layer. And now I'm rubbing with my finger. So this is a fun thing, kids. Get your finger and just start rubbing it in and blending it. And just make sure you hold the paper because it will uh, flick up if you're not careful. But it will blend like paint blends. You could use a tissue if you wanted to protect your finger. Um, then you grab the green and I'm just doing little squiggles. Tiny little squiggles because I want to make it look like I've got trees in my background but I want them to look like they're far away so when we're talking about depth and we're talking about perspective um, you've got to think if things are far away they're going to be small so I'm just doing a little scribble with green then I'm adding some black just to give kind of they're just I'm just doing streaks but it's meant to look like the trunks of a tree um, and you can see them starting to form I'm going to put a little bit of light green just to give it a bit of texture a uh, bit of shadow and light, very basic intro. And then I'm going to finish it off with that baby oil again, um, just to smudge it out a bit, make it feel like um, it's blending some more. Um, and also it's a great intro to paint without being as messy as paint. So that's why we like it. 
I'm taking a black pastel now and just drawing a squiggly line and that's going to be a road. Really simple. The, the point to this is to build up. Always start with your background and then move forward. And if you do it in stages like this, you can literally do any landscape. And so I think after you've mastered this, I would definitely tell your parents that they should have a go. Maybe you could compare um, who does the best landscape. That'd be a fun Friday night um, family time. Um, to do the uh, fence there, I just um, did little crosses and then some straight lines. Um, just to give the idea of a fence. And now I'm drawing in a tree. This tree is going to sit at the front of my image and that's why it's nice and big. My trunk's not amazing. Basically a curved line and then a couple of um, V shapes in the top. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I. And then I'm just giving a little bit of depth with black. Then I'm heading over with white just to start blending that in some more adding some brown, adding some more branches. You could be very particular with these branches if you want. I'm kind of just going for a general shape because you'll see in the end, it doesn't really matter. I'm then using the stippling effect again. That's where you're just literally dabbing green um, all over your trunk and it looks like leaves. So it's a really simple way. You don't have to go and draw any kind of clouds or anything, just stipple away with dark green and light green. Um, and then our favorite little coconut oil, baby oil. Um, I'm just circles, literally painting circles and blending that all in. And it's starting to give us a pretty, pretty full looking tree. Take it down the trunk as well, blend that all in. Grab your white. And I'm just gonna give a little depth so the road looks a bit more worn. So I'm just doing a scribble and a smudge and then some lines just to give the idea that a car might have driven down there. Fill in the fence a little bit. And then the final bit is putting in some little sheep, just some little dots right out in the field. They don't have to be big, you could do anything. I just thought sheep would be cute. They stand out, a few little black marks just to give um, the idea of the feet. Um, and then I'm using a cotton bud here, completely optional. I don't know if it really did much, um, but the cotton bud could also be used if you don't have a paintbrush for your oil. It's a nice way to kind of blend in. Um, and then grab the end of a paintbrush and we'll do another tutorial on this because this is a real cool technique called scratching. And you basically scratch away your layers and it reveals the color that's underneath. So we'll do something cool with that very soon. But yeah, just put your initials at the bottom with a scratching and you're done. That's pretty much it. I'm cutting it out now because I, you can see that it's a bit messy around the sides and this is what oil pastels do. So if you give yourself space, um, then you can be a little bit messy and that's cool. And then you cut out your beautiful design, stick it on a piece of paper and that's it. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that it really helped you out. If you make something cool, I would love to see it. So please post it in to hello at mamagotskills.com. Otherwise, look out for more clips coming to you very soon.